Made a lot of life choices in my time. But, uh, hillbilly dancing water pumps was not one of the ones that I thought I would ever live to see the day. But that is the state that we are in currently. So, uh, yes. Welcome back to... Welcome back to Subnautica, where we have magic uneven water levels across our base. I guess I borked the whole thing up by not putting in more bulkheads and reinforcements, so I put one in the habitat area so that that's that's on me i guess as to the rest of this well i don't i don't know what to say gonna gonna go kill me some sand sharks i managed to kill one of them off screen so i'm gonna gonna go do what i should have done in a uh, long time ago hey that does not work for some reason that, however, does. Hey, Billy, remember me? Remember the guy whose house you fucked up? Well, guess what? Now you're going down into the hole. You're going away for a long time. There we go, yep. It's almost, just like, there we go, yeah. Not so tough now, without your sand or the ability to move around in time and space, huh? Now for the last one. Yes. Revenge! Revenge for all those butt bites! Revenge! Yes! Oh wait, let's scan. Do I need to scan you? It doesn't matter, revenge. Revenge is more important. Revenge! Revenge! Okay. I am safe. At last. Now let's park my majigger. Where is it? It's right here. All right. Those twitching corpses, I hope they stay there forever now. Ooh, I like- oh yeah, 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 that is good. Mmm. I like me some of that. So now we have our sea moth, and we can- can put stuff in the side of it if the- the game doesn't bug out and actually me approach the vehicle. So I can put some upgrade stuff in the upgrade panel. Nothing to put in there right now. Actually, I have like a storage upgrade somewhere. Go find that. Also, welcome back to Ventral Subnautica Simulator 2018. I'm your host, Larry. I I needed to do to work out some anger issues with that other animal. So I got a uranite crystal and a lot of lithium. I got a storage module. So that's cool. I also got some posters. I'm gonna put up and put these. What the heck is that? Oh, I hit F2. Oops. That was... What does that even say? Darker background? I don't... I don't know what that is. That's a, that's a, that's a wizard. It's wizard talk. I got a poster. It's a puppy. There we go. Prawn suit Mark III. Be a weird Larry the Lobster today from Spongebob. Huh. Brings a tear to my eye holes. That was... Gonna be honest, the moon pool was perhaps a little bit anticlimactic. Considering how much grief I just went through to deal with this thing, but that's fine. So, I can put this storage module in here. Which means the other side of the ship has a hatch. That is the ugliest storage module I have ever seen. But okay. I'm gonna put the puppy, the keep calm poster in there. That's what, so I'm gonna put that in there. That's, that's the best place for that. Actually, no. Yay! Keep calm! There's not a Reaper Leviathan outside about to screw up the whole thing, promise. Okay, kitty. I- I don't trust you because you're illustrated. Um, well, that was cool. So... Yeah, that's, that's all I got, really. Hope it was everything you folks at home dreamed it would be. 
Because it was all of my dreams at once. <coughs> you know what? I need more power. Creepvine, you're going in the tube. And I need food, so... It's your lucky day, magic peeper. You're gonna get eaten. Like now. And then all the rest of this is going away. Including all this glass. Yeah, I basically just need lots and lots and lots of titanium, and then what does enameled glass take? What is aerogel, too? What the hell even is- I know- okay. I know aerogel in real life is like a gel that's really a good insulator because it's got like a zillion little pockets to trap air and heat. But outside of that, I don't know what it is inside of Subnautica because that's needed to make a really cool mech suit. So, what do we got? Enameled glass is just stalker tooth and glass, so I need nothing, basically. I just need enough titanium for one more ingot and some lithium, which I have. I also... Yeah, yeah, I'm starving to death, computer. I I'm on a diet, okay? I'm on the... I'm trapped alone on a planet and don't feel like cooking diet, alright? I made cookies, though! I made some cookies today. I mean, my mother and I baked up the, uh, or mixed up the the ingredients for pinwheel cookies and they were chilling in the freezer, and I baked them in the, in, in the oven today. All right, all right, I'll eat. Stop flashing lights at me. My God. You're worse than the everything around me. Everyone's like, you need to eat. You can't just drink your breakfast, Larry. Of course I can. Gonna get my beach bod ready for 2018, all right? I can't just- ooh, there's garbage over here. I drove really far for this garbage before. I will have you know, game. A little offended that you think I needed to be given garbage outside my doorstep. Yeah, I really like pinwheel cookies. They're my favorite. Pinwheel cookies are basically like dates and walnuts mixed together in like a syrup as filling. And you put them flat out on a bit of the kind of like gingerbready dough. And then you roll it up into a tube and then you slice them into little pinwheels and then you cook them. That's what I did. Because I'm fancy like that. What's in here? Oh, this just leads to here. A common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation. I feel like I wouldn't have as much trouble with the caves in this game if the light didn't suddenly go pitch black the second you enter all the way into the cave. I feel like that is not a thing that happens. I feel like you can still see the light at the end of the tunnel. It might just be different underwater. Calling some shenanigans on you, game. Just a couple. It's a couple of them shenanigans. Alright, so what... Once I have this, what is the goal? Like, I don't have the drill arm for it yet. I guess I could go punch a giant reaper leviathan. Is that the goal? Punching dolphins? I would guess yes. Like, that's, that's basically the highest thing on my to-do is punching dolphins in the face. But, I, you know, it's not always the case, you know? It's, it's weird. Life is weird like that. So this required... I didn't find the aerogel. First off, I don't know what the hell that is. Plat steel ingots I got covered, enamel glass, diamonds, and lead. Do I have lead? Do I need lead? I need lead. I had lead for the other thing. Okay. Also, aerogel. Aerogel? No, no. Maybe I don't know how to make aerogel. Maybe that's like a thing I need to go find. It's weird that I have like the ability to know I need it, but not know how to make it. So while that's crafting, uh, Subnautica aerogel is a light porous gel with which the liquid component of the gel has been replaced with some shit. 
with gas. This results in a substance incredibly heat insulative. Gel sacks and rubies are needed for to craft this. It also uses the construction of the prawn suit. I need gel sacks. Where are gel sacks from? Where can I find these gel sacks, game? Because they look like a mutant brain. It just says cave walls, so I need to go into the cave. Which means... Which means... I'm gonna make that new fancy thing that could potentially let me find my way out of a cave without dying horribly. I think we all know that that's really high on Larry's to do, not dying horribly. So let's put all the rest of this expensive shit back in here. Because I don't need it where we're going. I do probably need water, but that's fine that I don't have any. Let's go see what that thing requires to build. It's like a disc shooter or something. Creep vine samples and titanium. Okay, I can do that. Hey fishies, guess what? I don't need to eat you, so there's only one place that you're gonna go. Into the blender. Yeah boy! Will it blend? Yes they will! You bet your ass they will. That is a very inefficient way to do anything in this game, by the way, is any of that nonsense. So I'm gonna need my Stabamaru. I really need that modification station too, because I want a diamond bladed knife. I know that's in this game, I've had that before, I want it. Okay, it's on the walls. There's like some burnt skid marks on the walls, is that what you want from me, game? Is it this? No, this is like, touchy coral. Nah, I don't need that. I don't even need this, really. My- my- oh, Jesus, these are big. Alright, those don't need to be in my inventory. That's enough of that. Wow, this is really deep. Okay. Well, let's go build that thing that I was just horsing around with. Why would Creepvine take up that much space in your inventory? Wouldn't a leaf work well enough, game? Wouldn't a leaf be enough? Just one leaf! That's all you really need in life, is just a leaf. Just one leaf, man. I guess that brain coral's not used for anything, so it's gonna go in the blender with the fish. I... Did it go in? It's not in the thing, but I guess it's in there. Making power. Hopefully those geothermal plants are more effective than that, because that's kind of lame. Oh, they're like hollow beacons that lets you figure out where the hell you're going. Can I pick it back up or does it just expire? I, I guess it just fucks off up into space. Okay. Well, I gotta go explore some caves. Where are there caves that are not stupid? I... Why is there more sand sharks? Why? Why? Why with the sand sharks? Why? I just killed your brothers. Why? Why? Every time with you. Why? Alright, well that's- that's my bitching for the moment. In we go! I got stuff to do. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Alright, this is- this is probably fine. I'm sure it's fine. Let's go back over to the mushroom village. Let's go find a deeper cave, just to be sure. I'm gonna go get some brain sacks from the wall, and I'm gonna mush them together to make the thing. So this is- this is the thing that I was kind of having issue with occasionally in the earlier versions of Subnautica. Which, without the wiki, like... Where do you get Aerogel? Like, I have Prawn Suit. Like, I had to go to the Aurora sooner rather than later. I got the Prawn Suit. 
Where do you get aerogel to make the prawn suit? You'd think if it was required, the computer would be like, Oh, that's right, Larry. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Aerogel is from taking like a genetically reconstituted cat and stuffing it into a blender with some duct tape. Like, that's fine. I will get a cat, some duct tape, and a blender. That is fine. But you gotta tell me these things, man. Where is the modification station, too? Every time I go through here, I'm going to ask that question. Okay, we're at, like, the length, end of my depth. Let's turn off the lights. So I don't waste battery. Oh, there's more of this shit. All right, maybe this isn't really a cave at all. Maybe this is just some bullshit. Or there could be an alien facility down here. That's cool, too. All right. Well, I didn't expect this today, so... Everything else is gravy from here on out. That's, that's definitely a Stargate. Like, that is, there's no way this isn't, is there a way to turn off my HUD? It's not it. It's not it either. Oh, that's, a, oh, I took a screenshot. Okay, that's all I needed. I just wanted a screenshot of this so I could use it for a thumbnail. That's all I needed. Uh, do I want to scan this? I can't really scan anything in here, to be honest. It's just a... It's just an alien facility down here. Doesn't really do anything. Looks cool, though. So, that's, that's real neato. All right, well, we found a thing. Cool. I I am physically shrugging really hard right now. That is all I have, is just shrugging. Okay, well. This isn't really a cave. I'm gonna be honest, it's not really a cave. Okay. Well, let's get back to the sea moth and let's try to find an actual cave. One that is hopefully not filled with stingy jellyfish. Because half the caves around here, I'm not saying, I'm not making this like a racial thing, but half the, ra half the caves in here have some of those purple motherfuckers that sting you on the top of the head. And I'm not making, I'm not saying they all sting you. I'm sure this is a very nice purple and blue thing, but some of them, they hang from ceilings and they sting you. It's not, it's not very nice. In fact, it's quite, it's quite assholey. Um, that's not really a cave. This is kind of a cave. Like a really shit one. That's a cave. That's a cave full of no. Uh, but I'm gonna go in there because I'm dumb. Because that's what I do. Yeah, this is barely even a cave. Like, there's nothing even in here that I can use. Yeah, this is like... Stingy shit. And that's it. I guess I can... I can scan the droopy stingers because they're not exactly going anywhere. On the plus side. Okay. I wonder if they hurt me when I like drive into them. Are they so stingy they'll even sting technology? Because I would believe that if you told me that they would. I just had to get my bearings real quick. This could be a, a cave. Are these turds? What are these? It's a creature egg for something I don't feel like messing with right now. Oh, not really. No. Come on, man. Why you gotta 
Why you gotta be like that? With the crash powder. Why? Alright, well, I have crash powder now. I didn't need it, but I have it. Alright, I didn't hear what the computer said because things are screaming at me, but it was probably not great. Something about sulfur? I- I might smell. Like, I- I haven't built a shower yet in the old- in the old, uh, habitat, so that might just be the computer telling me I stink. I- Alright. To be fair, though, I know that there's like- There's like a sulfur thing around here that I can go mess with. It's probably that. There's like a big volcanic vent over here. Oh, there's a Gary fish. I'll take you. Nope, come here. You're coming with me. Well, I got really far away in that. Is that is, is, even though? Is that even a cave still? I don't know. So caves might be off the agenda. Caves are not really, caves are not really happening yet. This has been kind of like a blunder after a blunder today. Gonna be real honest. It has not been looking great for me. All right, somewhere there might be a cave over here. What cave, though? Do they have to be certain depth? What what cave? Cave walls. Gallery trivia. Okay, it says Deep Grand Reef is your best bet. I'm gonna go... See, I could have probably have figured that, because... They just seem like a big reef thing. Where's my beacon? Uh, Juicy Reef Ravine. Yeah, those just seem like, uh, the way that they glow, they seem like they could very easily be like a big Grand Reef thing, so let's find out. Surprisingly, I'm still at full health, even though I just hit that fish. So either making a moon pool made me more robust, or I just suddenly stopped being bad at driving. I could believe either, really. What about at the hole down into the the jelly shroom caves? This could be a place that has good things in it. Or not. I'm gonna go with not, actually, because... I know that there's, like, these special things in there that'll actually come out and kill and eat me now. I'm completely fine with not saying hi to those things. Completely fine. Where is that re- there it is. Did you not, Mr. Whatever you are? Sand shark. Sand slash sand true. And Subnautica is deceptively big too. Like it, it one moment you feel like it's not very big, and the next moment you're like cruising wrong. It takes you, like, half an hour to get somewhere. Is that a cave? That's a stalker, so... no? Maybe? I don't know. So that glowing stuff kinda looks like those giant, uh... glowing... brain things. That I checked out a long time ago. I haven't really explored much of the Big Grand Reef because a lot of the Great Ran the Big Grand Reef is really, really deep. And while I like going deep with my lady friends, uh, in this case, I really can't. I don't, I don't got the right equipment for that. Not really. Not yet. That's why I was going to build that other thing. Oh, you're new. What are you? Oh, that's a peeper. It's just like a lumpy, tumory peeper. And these are the hot vents that'll burn me. Well, poo. 
Well, poo. I might not be able to get this thing for a little while until I can figure out what cave will give me the thing. Yeah, it says over here is probably your best bet if you can figure out where you can get them to spawn. It says caves. I don't know where there's a cave in here, though, is the problem. And I'm, like, hovering right at the edge of murder right now. There must be a cave over here somewhere. I'm missing my torpedoes. I would just go balls deep if I had my torpedoes and my depth stuff. Well, no time like the present. Let's go figure out what's going on. Might be a cave system down here somewhere. Here's hoping. This is a crash piece of debris, which is fine. The only thing... Hello, what is that? I think I have that already. Scanner room, I got that. Can build that already. Probably should build that soon. It's a thermal plant. These are just these giant balls of whatever. Are, is that what these are? Am I supposed to stab these? Anchor pod. Well, I can't kill it, so it's probably not interactable. There's a thing here, though. That is an egg that I don't want. I hear some of those whatchamajiggits. Those reef backs swimming out here. Which does set me at ease to a certain amount, because the Reaper Leviathans will try to eat those if they see them first. Reaper Leviathans are pretty much always hungry, so that doesn't tell you much. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to look at a map for this, I feel. I, I'm lost. I don't know where I'm going. I'm not really deep enough. This might not be the right part of the Grand Reef. It's complicated surviving in these areas, isn't it? 